Hello everybody. Welcome back to Art and Outdoor Life here with John. So today's painting uh, is Ala Prima, which I did and it took about 40 minutes for me to do this. And I'm still going to be touching up, but so what I did was I primed my, uh, my canvas. This is stretch canvas. I primed it with yellow ochre. And here I am. I'm outlining my room with some burnt sienna. Burnt sienna here. Now, what I'm going to be painting here, this is from Imagination is an old apartment room from the city, or it could be like an old farmhouse room, uh, just depending on how you see it. For me, I was thinking about when I was a kid, me and my dad used to paint, and my uncle Tony and stuff, we used to paint a lot of, uh, a lot of old apartments in Chicago. And we used to fix up rooms and stuff. I'm talking about with uh, the old apartments that had actual plaster for the walls. Okay, so some of the things I'm going to throw in here is a radiator, the old like the old radiator heaters. I'm going to throw in an old light hanging from the ceiling, the kind of light that has. Uh, you know, they were very a very dim light. Okay. I'm going to throw in a window with the old kind of shades that you used to be able to pull down. You had to pull them down. And um, I'm going to try to put in an old uh, picture frame hanging on the wall. And, uh, and then you'll see uh, where somebody is has already started painting in this room. Okay, so to the painting. I've outlined my room somewhat loosely and I'm using burnt sienna for the flooring. These are going to be hardwood floors and uh, the trim board around everything, you know, back then the trim boards on the floor were really, really tall. Everything was big, you know, even around the, um, around the windows and such. Okay, so now most of this is going to be burnt umber. And that's what I'm using, what I used for the bottom there for the floorboard. And over here, I'm putting in a door. I'm also using burnt umber. Burnt umber is going to be the primary primary color here, but you'll see how I put in other colors um, to kind of bring out the burnt umber. Okay, so just kind of making my door here, getting things started, and um, yeah, it took about forty. 40 minutes to do this entire painting. I just sat down and did it. From imagination, I was thinking about doing something different. I didn't want to do a landscape. I didn't want to do fruit. I So I thought, you know, this would be interesting to do. So so here I'm just outlining the window where and back in those old apartments. As you know, those windows were really tall and they went almost all the way up to the ceiling from you know just a few feet off the floor I didn't make the window that big but I did make a pretty big window here pretty tall window so I'm just outlining things getting my shapes in and um, I, I only split a few things on here, and that was, be, you know, because I did look for a few colors, and I was, uh, you know, trying to figure out what brushes I wanted, because I just got up and figured I'd paint. I wasn't worried about anything. It just, I just got spontaneous and decided to do it. 
Okay. And, you know, I hope that you paint along. That would be really cool if you painted along and add, add your own elements to it. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm making a shape there because remember these walls were plaster okay so I'm making a wall there or making a, a thing at the bottom there which is going to be like a hole in a wall so pretty soon you'll see the slats going in the background so up here is the overhang light very very gently just trying to tap this is all burnt umber, just kind of trying to tap things out. Now I'm trying to get a better definition of the shape from the angle that I'm at. What, what I think what's interesting about this painting is I'm actually painting a painting that somebody is has already been inside this room and somebody's already started painting inside this painting <laughs> if that makes any sense okay so with some lemon yellow i'm putting my light bulb in it's hanging from the ceiling okay now when you're doing uh light and you want it to be bright okay like there's my lemon yellow light bulb Okay. Whether it's the sun or whatever, if it's orange or yellow or whatever, if you want it to appear brighter, you just put a little bit of white in the center. Just a dab of white. So that's what I did right here. Just a little bit of white. It's Chinese white. Just to give it make it look a little brighter even though the light bulb in this painting is going to be very dim so with some white i'm just kind of uh flickering around with my paintbrush to just to give an idea that there is uh, some kind of light going on in the ceiling and you'll see how i do this here um And, of course, you know, I'm just, right now I'm testing the waters. I've never done a painting like this. And I don't have a reference photo. I have memories. <laughs> so, um, so here I am. I'm just basically trying to get some shapes and, and brighten it up a little bit inside this gloomy room because... Uh, this gloomy room is getting a, a, re, a redo, a do-over painting. Um, so, yeah, it might look a little bit funky right now, a little strange, a little too much white, and it is. But you'll see, I mean, I'm learning as I'm going here. I, like I said, I did this a la prima. And so as I'm going and the paint is suggesting it to me in my mind while I'm doing this it's suggesting that I should do this and I should do that that's one one thing that I love about painting sometimes the paint tells you hey stop you need to do this try this try that okay so I, I went back to the lemon yellow and I figured okay let's Let's darken this white up a little bit and let's blend it in here. So with the lemon yellow, I'm going over the white. I want smooth edges and they'll come. So yeah, I didn't I didn't want it that bright, but I just wanted to give an idea of where the light. Uh, you know, of course the light would go all over the room, right? But in this case, I wanted to accent where the light would most likely be showing. And uh, so on the edges, I'm putting more uh, lemon yellow on here. And I'm not worried about the ceiling or the wall. And 
that. I'm mainly right now just concentrating on the light. I don't want it to be so bright. Even though I started out that way. Um, so just kind of just kind of messing around like that. And then I was thinking, okay, and the floors are going to be hardwood floors, okay? So I was like, okay, so let's see. I put a little bit of lemon yellow on the floor. Just to kind of, okay, there's some light going down there too. Okay, a little bit of white. Just a little bit, a little bit more lemon yellow. That's really bright. It's really bright. But watch, you'll see how I change all this. Okay. And just kind of flickering it around. I'm thinking, okay. And these ideas give give me more ideas. And that's why I like uh, Ala Prima and I like doing these from imagination. Sometimes I will look at a photo before I paint just to get an idea, but in this case, I didn't look at anything. Okay, so now I'm like with my burnt umber, coming back to get that ceiling distinguished. Yes, and please like and subscribe if you appreciate my videos and my paintings more you want to learn or whatever and so here with the paper towel I'm using it as a blending tool just to try to get rid of, try to get some soft edges and blend it um, yeah as you can see uh, you'll smear a lot of things I mean this is wet on wet paint here okay so as we're moving on here, um, again, uh, the only brown that I'm really using here is burnt umber. That's the only brown. Uh, so try to define this, this uh, light bulb a little bit. And the light bulb gets a little bit mess messier, the chain link, the chain that it's coming down from. But we'll fix this. And it is loose. It's a loose painting, so it's oil. Um, okay, so here I am. I'm going, okay, now what can I do? Because I didn't like that. Maybe I can move some of the paint with my palette knife. Hmm. And then I was thinking, no, that's not going to work. So, okay, there's a few options we got here, right? Okay. And then I found this color, Flesh Yellow. It's called Flesh Yellow. So I was like, okay, I want to put in my blinds right now. Okay, my shades. And I want to put in my shade, and I'm going to try this color. I've never tried this color before. So it's, it almost looks like a very light, a real light pink on the tube. But it's called Flesh Yellow. So, and I didn't want the, I didn't want the shade to be pure white, because they're never pure white when you look at them. Okay, so I'm like, with the stifled brush, I'm like, okay, now I, I can at least move these larger shapes a lot easier and put more paint on them. But I'm, if you notice in the, this painting, I'm not really using hardly any paint on my brushes. I'm trying to keep as much, trying to keep minimal paint on my brush all of my brushes and that's because I don't want to overdo it 
Okay, so with the same color, I'm blending it in here, the flesh yellow, and the opening in the wall there to brighten it up because I want to put some slats in there. Because that, that wall is going to have to be plastered and uh, insulated, that part of the wall. So, and let's see here. So here we go, it's more burnt umber, kind of going across, you know, uh, just to give the idea that there are slats in that wall and, you, you know, somebody had uh, maybe banged it and you know, pulled out some of the plaster. So that's what's going on here. I'm just kind of trying to give it that impression there. So with the door, and if you notice, the door looks very skinny, right? I mean, back then, those doors were very tall and very wide. Okay, so more burnt umber and a little bit more shape on the door. And trying to get those panels in inside the middle. All right in the right side and on the left side of the inside of the door itself uh, without running the door handle but the door handles you know it's just a door handle uh, and then with the floorboard trim here uh, let's see now, just dotting it along here, trying to make sure I get a good angle on, on this wall. Okay. I'm actually looking at it sideways because of the way the camera is angled. So, some burnt umber. I'm bringing the floorboard trim uh, nice and thick nice and tall that's how they are so now with a little bit of burnt sienna I'm gonna start working on my hardwood floor here and but I want I'm also trying to keep the light in place right I still want the light to be noticeable that there is light in there even though this is a very dim room from a very old light bulb. <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone had been smoking in there for years and the light bulb's off, you know, the outside's awful of gunk. And, um, you know, just a very dim, dim room here. Okay. So by leaving the center right below the light bulb, a little bit more brighter it appears uh, that the light is coming down so now a little bit of trim around this window with the shade and all the paint is wet so you know this is tricky uh, especially when you're videoing it and you're painting on an angle Okay, so anyways, the top of the window, and here, some, now this is interesting, this is uh, called Silver Gray, Silver Gray is the name of this paint, and this is the radiator, the radiator heater. And those of you who remember those radiator heaters, remember uh, they, they were gas powered and um, 
they were in all kinds of homes and they're still in some of the old homes I'm sure and if you fell against that thing you were busting your head <laughs> you you're gonna break a bone or something but uh they got very warm inside those so the silver gray I outlined my radiator heater and in order to give it more of a look like a heater I decided to add some black to it very lightly very gently because I did not want to smear this the colors all over so just kind of very easily just touching it with the black um, you know there were different kinds of heaters from the old old houses but this was one kind okay so there's my radiator heater I'm liking that Okay, now back to the slats. Okay, so some more burnt umber. Just trying to get, trying to, you know, I'm actually being a little fussy about this because I'm trying to make it perfect, but in reality, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, this painting is supposed to be suggestive and it's supposed to be uh, fairly loose. So here with some uh, yellow ochre, I figure, okay, I'm going to change this light source a little bit, All right? So I want it to be a little bit more uh, dim. I want that light to be dim, right? I mean, this is an old, old apartment, and I just kind of want the light to be a little dim. So, as we're coming along here, I'm trying to figure out how I can fix the, the chains that are holding up my light there, because it got smeared. So, I'm using some yellow. Uh, to kind of just to kind of uh, put around that chain and with the stiffle brush I figured okay this will work because I it doesn't bend that well the stiffle brush and it's very firm so if I want it to go somewhere it will go there without bending and go in other places like your liner brushes and things. So here I am, I'm just kind of blending around. Um, you know, I'm feeling it out. I'm feeling it out and I'm like, okay, I'll add a little bit more to this. I, what I was blending here was that flesh yellow that I used for the shade. I was blending that with some of the yellow ochre and lemon yellow. I was looking for a different kind of uh, color. I wasn't sure what it was going to look like. Um, I was, I painted this on the fly. So, okay. So now these walls, okay. So I'm blending a little bit more uh, yellow ochre in there. Just to kind of, I still want to get that light source, you know, that the light, uh, the glow from the light. I still want it to be visible, but, you know, okay. So, over here, that's white, Chinese white. And the painters who had came in that day had just started painting they just started on that wall and that's what this room color is going to be white like that okay so here with some more burnt umber 
is my uh, my painting pole, my painting stick with the roller on the end. Now, I only noticed this after I was done, so I'll go back and I'll fix it up. The roller is on the floor. And I, I've never put rollers on the floor. I mean, it ain't even in a pan. <laughs> so when I redo this painting, I'll go ahead and I'll put the roller leaning up against the wall. And I'll make it white. But anyways, it's laying on the floor there. So back with the burnt umber, I'm, I'm actually uh, widening the door a little bit. And now... Pressing against it, I'm getting the trim above the top of that door. Remember, the trim back then, everything was like uh, two and a half, three inches, you know. Uh, in some cases, uh, four inches. Uh, like the along the floor and stuff. Okay, so here's the interesting part. I'm going to make a little painting inside this painting. Uh, my wife said that after she viewed it, and my daughter did too, she said, I like that. Um, I like that window you made. <laughs> well, this is not supposed to be a window, but you can make it a window. So I put in a little bit of scarlet in here. Okay. This is supposed to be a painting on a wall. Put scarlet in there, like if it as if it was a barn. And then I put this emerald green for the grass. I wanted to make it stick out um, with some brighter colors. And then some ultramarine for the sky. This is you know, you can make anything. You can make that a window if you want to. Or you can make your own painting in there. You know, I just wanted it to be a painting of something. It's like someone left a painting behind. So, with the ultramarine, I'm making the sky and this little itty bitty painting here. I mean, the, the canvas panel, or the canvas stretch canvas board I'm painting on is like five inches by seven. So this is a very small painting. And then with a little bit of white, I'm putting some clouds in there. Okay. And I'm using, I'm painting on my Peshad box. Peshad uh, box in my room. So they said it looks like a, like a window, and it very well can be. You can make that window. I just thought, and I, here's a little black for like a tree trunk. I just thought I'd put make it look like someone left a painting behind, that's all. So with the black, I put a little tree trunk in there. The, the painting is not supposed to be the focal point here. The painting on a wall. I just thought I'd throw it in there um, just to make things a little interesting. So with the bottom here, I'm using Scarlet. It's a red and I figured, okay, I'll put a little throw rug on there, right? Maybe someone left behind a throw rug and I'm gonna... So here I am, I'm putting in Scarlet. like a circle, oval rug, some are left in there. And then I was thinking, you know, that might be a little too bright. I don't know. I mean, these are wood floors, so I was like, okay. And then I decided to put some emerald green in here. I was like, I'm going to change it up a little bit just to see what it looks like. Because I didn't want it to be bright. I wanted the rug to be kind of faded somewhat. Like like dusty or used. You know, an old used rug someone left behind. So I put a little uh, 
emerald green in here over to scarlet. And then I was thinking, hmm. Okay. I'm experimenting here. So then I went ahead and I put a little bit more scarlet over the top to kind of blend it out a little bit. Okay. So this is looking like a very old room, apartment room, maybe a farmhouse room, you know. As you could see, they started painting on the right wall, and they're going to come back and finish that up. So then, I don't know why I did this, but I did. I, I figured, okay, I'll just put a little pail here. It's burnt umber. And it don't really look like a pail. But you know, when I do come back and finish this up, I'm going to, you know, I'll touch everything up. I want to thank you so much for viewing this. I hope that you enjoy watching these and, and learning from them as much as I enjoy painting them. Uh, I want you to have a good, good morning, a good evening, a good afternoon no matter where you are, and um, grab yourself some coffee, wine, or tea, and enjoy yourself. Thank you.